everybody, it's your boy Nautical. Welcome back to Destiny. We're about to talk about the auto rifles. Let's see if we can figure out if this is going to be the new meta since 2.6.0 has finally launched and Age of Triumph is live. To find the answer to this question, we first need to understand what is the best way and situation to use them in. Depending on the archetype, this can vary widely. High rate of fire auto rifles are great at up close engagements with hard to control recoil at a distance. The weapons you should be aware of are pulse rifles and scout rifles since they dominate this area of the map. Medium rate of fire and medium impact autos can reach out a little bit more when it comes to distance. You'll still get outshot by pulse and scout rifles rifles at a distance but with practice you could be very competitive overall with this weapon archetype now this does come with a caveat most weapons will still beat you when it comes to pure gunfights with this archetype just for the simple fact that most people run around with hand cannons and they can two to three tap you on a regular even with the three meter range nerf that they receive they still rule the short to medium range on the map now, scout rifles and pulse rifles are a little bit more manageable because you can still duck in and out of cover when you're going against those threats, but if you're not hitting those distant shots, you will not make it. Pulse rifles and scout rifles are a little bit more precise when it comes to that, and unless you have a lot of cover around you to be able to duck and dodge behind and bait your opponent to actually come to you, you're gonna lose more of those gunfights than you are gonna win them. Now, that's not to say that you can't win those, it just takes a very patient player when you're using this type of archetype when you're going around. You can't take advantage of the super high rate of fire to rush up on them and hose them down as fast you can and it doesn't have its punching power as some of the higher rate of fire ones have so i would just be super cautious with using those but they are usable and they are really good in the right hands now onto the low rate of fire high impact auto the rifles these are in a weird place if you can hit all of your headshots at most mid to long ranges you can be successful now the downside is pretty much the same as it was with the medium rate of fire you can pretty much be beaten by every weapon in the game and this is mostly due to the way that the maps are set up. Cyril's regime had his time in the sun due to the incredible amount of damage you did with precision hits which was 45. This made that weapon a five shot kill in a crucible. You can pretty much just dominate anywhere on the map anytime you wanted to with that weapon. No gun could even compete. No gun was even close. For one, hand cannons weren't nowhere near as good as they are now, which helped Suro's regime stay at the very top of the meta for a long time. The Doctrine of Passing was another great auto rifle that did its fair share of pissing people off with its incredible perk layout, which included counterbalance and persistence at a good deal of range to a weapon like this, then you're golden. It used to just embarrass people. Like it was, it was basically a mini SMG that would just tear somebody apart it was really effective against people that rushed you with shotguns it was it was just super good it was one of probably the best auto rifle that came out in the last two years in destiny i think in the right hand any player can use any weapon it all comes down to map awareness and the understanding of how players like to traverse the map also game modes matter too some auto rifles play better in sixes than three and vice versa the biggest thing i can tell you is go into a game try out an auto rifle on all the different maps threes rumble sixes see exactly the ones that you like to play and just learn the map and have an understanding of engagement limits and where you definitely can push and where you can't push to definitely take advantage of these three different archetypes of this weapon. And in closing guys, I just wanna say auto rifles are good at giving sustained fire on a player, but you need to land your shots to make it worthwhile. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And if you feel like I'm worthy for you to keep women back to for your destiny content, I would appreciate that very much. And if you guys got anything, leave it down in the comment section. But with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. And thanks for watching. Peace.